<laughs> uh, by the way, I got some new data in. I only have two minutes for weather, they tell me, so I have so much to talk about. So I'm going to dive right in. Nice outside. We're looking pretty good. The snow not here yet, but look at the temperatures. This is nice. We're actually a little bit warmer than forecast, and I kind of knew that we may see some locations get close to 40. Midway at 39, though, we are going to melt some of the snow that's on the ground. The problem is we're going to add more snow than we're melting for sure. This is what we're seeing. The radar flipping back and forth between rain and snow because some of this is flipping back and forth between rain and snow. And each time this starts to move closer to one of our reporting sites, we get an update on whether that is rain or snow. I think we're going to see that transition continue. And because of that, I feel pretty confident with the model numbers that are coming in. Some of the models pretty much agree with that one to two inches. There are a few locations that could pick up a little bit more. Some of the models have trended as high as three to four inches, but I'm feeling pretty comfortable with the way that the models are now converging on about two to three inches of snow. I think that's a good forecast for what we're expecting. What's more interesting is the colder air that's coming in, not how cold it is, but how long it lasts. Temperatures likely going to be in the single digits to maybe a teens for early tomorrow, depending on where you are. And then the wind chills are going to be very chilly for tomorrow morning, likely below zero. In fact, they could be close to 20 to 30 below by early Sunday morning. I think we'll probably see a wind chill advisory issued for part of the weekend at some point tomorrow. I think we'll see that issued about 24 to 36 hours in advance. There's your overnight low temperatures. I said once it gets below 15, we're probably not going to get back above 15 for at least a week. I got to show you this before they kick me off the air here. Not only will it be cold all the way through next week, but into the weekend, the new data that's coming in is suggesting that it's going to be even colder next weekend than the current amount of cold air that's in place. That would be very impressive if that happens.